Hello friends, how are you all? Right now I am standing in almost in the southernmost tip of Indian Peninsula, the junction of three water bodies and the famous Vivekananda Rock Memorial. It's a point where Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean and Arabian Sea meet and this is the point of national importance and very important geographical landmark. Every day, thousands and thousands of tourists from all over the world come to Kanyakumari, that is the southernmost tip of India, where the three water bodies, the Indian Ocean, Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea meet. And this confluence of the three water bodies marks the embodiment of the famous architecture that is the Vivekananda Rock Memorial. Ladies and gentlemen, from here, many many years ago, Swami Vivekananda had prayed for three continuous days before he went to Chicago for his world famous sermon and lecture. I started my journey from the city of Kolkata and reached the nearest airport to Kanyakumari that is in Trivandrum city. Just remember, Kanyakumari doesn't have an airport. However, you can come by train from all major cities and everywhere from India that is from Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai, Trivandrum. So, if you want to travel and see India, you must travel by trains because Indian trains connect entire India, north, south, east and west. And this train connects Mata Vaishno Devi, Jambutavai to Kanyakumari from the northernmost part of India to the southernmost tip of India, 161A Saga Express. Mata Vaishno Devi to Kanyakumari. Standing now in front of the Kanyakumari station, and this is the Kanyakumari station. Here you can see it is written Kanyakumari. Kanyakumari, the bus is going Kanyakumari station, and this is the wax museum, the India's first wax museum. And the road straight coming from here, and you turn, so you turn right, and this is the road going to the jetty for the Vivekananda Rock. So this is the new Cape Hotel. Very near to railway station. It's a new Cape Hotel. So it's 11.50 pm. I've just reached on time before the midnight. Otherwise the room would have been gone. And it's torrentially raining heavily. And see my room. It's a beautiful room in Kanyakumari. I've reserved it for two nights. And there you can see the Vivekananda rock. It's beautiful. It's I think the best location for anybody to come to Kanyakumari. And this side is the railway station. On the way, on the left hand side you can see this church. This is shrine of our lady of ransom, the Catholic church. This is a church. Morning from Kanyakumari. My mission for today's journey is 
the famous Vivekananda Rock Memorial and I will be taking the jetty from the jetty point in Kanyakumari. I'm walking straight down the street, you can see behind me the street and let's have a wonderful journey and I will show you everything for your details. And on the way you can see many hotels left and right of the street. Here are State Express bus depot and just opposite to it is the police station. Now these things are very essential, you know, when you are traveling you must know where the police station is, where the bus station is and where the hospitals are. Because any time emergencies can come up. So slowly I am going to the Gandhi Mandapam. You can see the skyline of the ocean and Kanyakumari is India's southernmost tip where three oceans meet, Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean and Arabian Sea. And now I'll be turning towards my left, that is way to the boat jetty. I'm standing in the crossroad, that is the road for the temple and this is the road way to the jetty. Church, Vivekananda Rock Memorial and Statue of Tiruvalluvar and the ocean waves of the Bay of Bengal and that is the meeting point of Sangam Sthal of Arabian Sea Indian Ocean on Bay of Bengal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kanyakumari. I will be now going from this road to this road and stand on the tip of that edge where the three oceans meet. Let's see. Where I am standing, it's all rocks and the rocks and the ocean and the Vivekananda rock. And this is the road coming from the mainland. It is coming, it's all rocks, rocks, rocks. I'll show you a close view. See how deep the rocks are. See when I step. go to that stone yeah and see the rocks and the ocean that is the end of the land massive wave. It spurs to me. It's wonderful feeling though. So this is the jetty you can see. The boat is coming and passengers are waiting there. This is the entry point, Kumpoha Shipping Corporation, Kanyakumari Ferry Service.
नॉर्मल एंट्री सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज स्पेशल एंट्री टू हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड देर इज नो प्रोविजन फॉर ऑनलाइन तो क्यू आर कोड इज देयर एंड हेयर इज दिन एवरी डे थाउजेंड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पर्सनस कम टू सी द विवेकानंद रॉक मेमोरियल एंड दिस इज द लॉन्ग क्यू फॉर टिकट काउंटर दर्शन जैन थर्टी रुपीज दिस इज द एंट्री टिकट थर्टी रुपीज पर हेड पर पर्सन एंड दिस इज द वेटिंग हॉल एंड दिस इज द एंट्रेंस सो लेट अस मूव इन साइड नाउ द टाइम इज ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन ऑलमोस्ट टू आवर्स फ्रॉम बाइंग टिकट स्टैंडिंग इन द लाइन आई हैव रिच्ड विवेकानंद रॉक मेमोरियल नाउ आई एम प्रोसीडिंग टूवर्ड्स द मेन Citadel, and here you can see the ocean. Right now, I am standing in Vivekananda Rock Memorial, and almost say 250 years ago, Swami Vivekananda meditated for three long days before going for Chicago in 1893 to give his historic sermon. on the world religion congress and to commemorate that on 2nd september 1970 this epitaph this memorial was consecrated by the president of ramakrishna mission bellur north west bengal sri swami vireswarananda ladies and gentlemen vivekananda rock memorial friends now i am standing in vivekananda rock memorial as you can see behind me and it is in kanyakumari now kanyakumari is famous for vivekananda rock memorial as this was the place where swami vivekananda meditated before going for his chicago sermon and the speech however if the mythology goes kanyakumari is dedicated to the virgin form of mother parvati where Mata Parvati is resembling a virgin young girl called Kanya and Kumari and it is believed that she had slayed the demon Banasura so dedicated to mother goddess Parvati in the virgin form Kanya and Kumari slaying Banasura this has proven of historical importance while Swami Vivekananda goes for the meditation before giving his sermon in Chicago 1893 friends this is not only india's most prestigious place but has been a landmark in the world architecture literature history and all kinds of religions every day thousands and thousands of pilgrims normal tourists Non domestic international common block here Kanya Kumari This is Sri Pada Mandapam The mythology says that inside here one can see the foot prints of Ma Parvati in the form of Kanya the Kanya Kumari This rock pedestal is still brownish in color and is worshiped every day as the incarnation of ma parvati as the virgin form of kanya shri pada bhavan 
कन्याकुमारी विवेकानंद रॉक the water color mixing that is absolute dark that is absolute dark the distant one and this is lesser so these are the ocean waters mixing of bay of bengal indian ocean and their arabian sea Near to the jetty, you can find this Hindu Yatra Nivas, where they can provide you accommodation and other services at very cheap rates, just beside this mandir. Bondura, take it upon. Today's video, among other for a particular series of video, Kerala series, Kochi to Kanyakumari. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Work, travel and spread the positive vibes all around.